interact with you if you say anything in the comments they will start talking to you so um when it comes to your page your instagram page when you got started to do that page what year was that i started the page in may of 2018 okay may of 2018 you got tons of hearts that are flowing across the screen since you came on by the way Yeah, see, I see how it is, everybody. When I came on, I didn't get no heart. As soon as she show up, no, I'm just kidding. All right, so 2018, May of 2018. Since May of 2018, how would you describe the woman in May of 2018 when she started the page? What two or three words would you use to describe who that woman was? Angry, fed up. Okay. All right, I did not even see that one coming. I was ready for a number of other things you were going to say. Angry, fed up. Those are three words. That's Angry that's good. And fed up. Okay. All right. Okay, so okay, fast forward. We're 2021 now. Mm-hmm. Uh we take COVID out. We're just talking about you as a person, as a woman, mm-hmm. as an intelligent woman. How would you describe yourself? What three words would you use now? um peaceful calm rooted I didn't see that coming either that's pretty good you took you took me for a loop there peaceful calm and rooted mm-hmm. uh hashtag #peaceful hashtag #calm hashtag #rooted uh okay you didn't need to make some coffee mugs with that on it you're going to do some, you need <laughs> you need a merch line that says that Are you think I'm joking? I'm Peaceful, serious. Peaceful, calm, rooted. <laughs> Peaceful, calm, rooted. Not a bad idea. Angry, angry, mad, fed up. Angry, fed up. Uh, or angry, fed up. Yeah, angry, yeah. fed up. That's what it was. Yeah. Angry, fed up. Yeah. And you, you essentially can use that as your new marketing for any new clients. I take you from this hashtag these three to angry hashtag. Or <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that's angry, fed up, two or whatever, whichever way you figure it. I don't know. I'm old. I figured out. I'm a senior citizen. I don't have to think that hard. I did all that. I'm retired now. I don't have to work that hard just to do this show. All right. So um, that's just uh, that's a nice contrast, though. In that period of time, May of 2018, and we are now in June of 2021, you have proved to be a person that has touched a number of lives along the way. Many that you will never ever meet. Many who know of you, and you know nothing of them. Literally I was, nothing yeah. of I them. I was surprised. Oh, you're What welcome, were you surprised? Winifred. Surprised by what? Thank you, Elisa, for your IG page. I was surprised when I started the page how how many people my posts were resonating with. And I don't know, you can raise your hand on here if you've been with me from the first, but my handle was exposing the sociopath. Really? And I had no, I had <laughs> my face or my name was not attached mm. to my, okay. in, my Instagram at all. Nothing, was, nothing. It was literally my outlet for anger my anger that i felt about a whole bunch of lies that were being spun and the injustice that i saw happening okay exposing the sociopath exposing the sociopath yep okay you got to tell me how'd you come up with that name i was exposing the sociopath <laughs> quite literally literally I was fed up with what was happening with this individual and I, i i had to i had to have a safe place to vent and get my anger out and mm-hmm. my ig was my platform and i just i started posting and i was so angry it was like nine posts a day and i was just just type it as fast as my little fingers could go and just getting it all out there <laughs> have you yeah. have you had clients like that or have met people who will follow you that are still in that angry mad as it were oh, yeah. fed up mode I mean, I think um like as people like I are coming out like first out of abuse I think they get to that point where they are angry. And their anger is justified. But you know, anger is like anything else, you have to move through it. You have to find a healthy place to get it out or you're going to implode. You can't hold and, it in. And you did not 
implode? No, or did but you? I would have. <laughs> yeah, you're a little further along than me. What else do you see there? Okay. Go ahead. I found Just... to fixate the labels. Yes. Yeah, they'll they'll kind of veer away from the term narcissist. It seems like. Um, culture, we love that. Yes, agreed. Okay, Karina. So when you feel like you have to cover up for someone's lie, but it doesn't seem like a lie, but you know they're wrong, that means you're a narc. No, but that means you're enabling someone, especially if you know that they're lying. If you know that they're lying. So when you feel like you have to cover up for someone's lie, but it doesn't seem like a lie, but you know they're wrong. <laughs> That means That's they're. Not, that means well. Does that mean they are a narc? That means I don't. I mean I don't know. I can't personally diagnose anyone, but there is no reason that you should be lying for someone, or that you feel like you need to lie for someone. But if they're lying, if they're you're lying, lying for that person, and you're enabling them. Yeah, you're enabling you're them to get to away keep from lying. crappy so, behavior and to continue in that crappy behavior. And to keep lying. Right. That's, so this that's is a good I'm... point too. Loving someone well doesn't mean always going along with what they're doing. Right? It means calling them out on stuff too. Today, but I have to I have to say this. I have never done a show it's gonna be almost three hours with anyone the way we've done a show today. Well, At I all. You doing ever. It. <laughs> I, I find this quite interesting. Uh, all my shows, I try to make sure they have good production value and that they're they're beneficial to everyone. And you need to do this more often. Of course, you know what I'm going to say next with me, but you need to do this more often. You can't do that. You have a life. But if you ever go on anyone else's show, you need to tell them way ahead of time. OK, I only do shows this way. <laughs> it's like, I'm go so see what I did with it. Go see what I did with Paxton. I run, person. I run the table. I know you are. I know yeah. you are. That's why I'm. It's hard special. for me to like open myself up in this way, but uh, it's it's been it's good for me to push myself too and my comfort level, right? You have handled this so well, unbelievably well. It is amazing your demeanor and the way you've handled this. Were you nervous when we when we first got started three Not segments ago? Not too bad. No. Yeah. Yeah, you had full command of this. I didn't have to do a lot of work. That's the first time ever out of almost 300 shows now. I, I can't, this is, no, I've never done it this way before. And uh, man, the heart's just been streaming since we started this whole thing, uh, the yeah. first segment. Uh, everybody yeah. loves you and you, yeah. you're a natural. Uh, but what else we got there? Everybody feel free to connect with one another before I cut the, the stream off. Uh, Johnny, welcome. thank you very much. You're welcome. Yeah. Go ahead. You were saying that too. You're willing to help people even though this is not your normal way to do it. So <laughs> thank you so much. Everybody, goodbye. I gotta go. I know you guys are still writing, but uh, if you need I to. you, Paxton. Yeah, well, you, yeah, you're more than kind. Uh, thank you, everybody, for supporting the channel. Thanks, everybody. And uh, we'll see everybody later. Bye for now. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.